do you need an RTX 4070 Ti Super to enjoy popular games on a 4K monitor? Or does the RTX 4070 Super provide a good enough experience? Let's use these graphics cards to play some games using various graphics settings to find out. I am using this CyberPower PC as a test system for this video. It features the i7-14700K FCPU cooled by the MSI Core Liquid M240 CPU liquid cooler, paired with the MSI Z790 Tomahawk Wi-Fi motherboard, 32GB of DDR5 5600CL40 memory, 2TB Kingston Fury Renegade SSD and MSI A850GL power supply. You can order this pre-built PC at the link in the description below or build your own using my Amazon affiliate links to buy all the parts you need. Did you know that your gaming PC can make you money when you're not using it? With the Salad app you could earn up to $180 per month in rewards such as games, gift cards, subscriptions to your favorite services as well as other epic loot if you have an RTX 3060 graphics card or better. Contribute to global computing projects such as AI processing during your gaming downtime by firing up the Salad app and turning your PC into a cash generating powerhouse. Click the link in the description to get started now. Alright, now we'll try 4K resolution native and graphics set to ultra preset. Let's go. We're still close to 60 FPS. Oh, nope. No. Oh. That was my last heal. Yeah, the performance is okay, but it's not ace. I think it'd be much better if I turn down some settings. Let's see. Let's turn it down to high. Yeah, this is a little bit better. I don't see like drastic changes in image quality, so this is fine. Ooh, that looks like a big bug. Hold on. Let me call in an orbital strike, right, right, up. Three, two, one, come on, hit it, boom. There we go, good stuff. Oh, there's another one, hold on, no, no, no. Get back, get back. Yeah, this feels better, so at 4K uh, with a 4070 Ti Super, I would play on high preset. Switch the card to RTX 4070 Super, and we'll start with 4K resolution, native, basically the same settings as I found uh, that are playable and I would use for the 4070 Ti Super, uh, which is uh, high preset. Yeah, the FPS is definitely lower, but we're still in the 60 region, which is nice considering that right now we are at 4K resolution. Hmm, some bugs. Okay, let's check out how well will it do in combat. Yeah, the FPS is still staying close to 60. Yeah, this is... I'm enjoying this. It's a pretty good performance. So I would say that this game is pretty much playable at 4K resolution. Obviously, <laughs> it's not as smooth as on the 4070 Ti Super, so I prefer that card, but it's not a problem because you can still play this game at a very high preset and you know enjoy all the beautiful graphics and still have close to 60 fps because check this out we could lower the settings further 
and I don't see anything different to be honest. <laughs> it's still close to 60. So I think we need to experiment with like which settings are actually affecting the FPS because yeah, it's a mystery right now. Because let's go back to high. Ah, uh, yeah, definitely, definitely. I can see that, uh, you know, it's, right now it's 57 FPS on high preset. And if we drop it down to medium, it goes up to 62. So we've gained an extra 5 FPS. The game still looks good. Now we're at 4K resolution, DLSS on quality. Frame generation disabled for now, everything on ultra. Ray tracing enabled, but set to high, because ultra is just uh, way too demanding to run on this graphics card at 4K. And the difference between ultra and high is not that great, so yeah, let's check it out. 60 FPS, 50 to 60 FPS in Hogsmeade. Not too bad, but, you know, I, I wouldn't play the game like this. It's just uh, not very fluid. The image is not very fluid. So the way I want to play it is with frame generation enabled. And that way the experience is more pleasant, but it's not really perfect. At this resolution, with ray tracing, the game, you know, it doesn't perform as well, so I'm not enjoying it as much as I did with ray tracing enabled at 1440p when we had higher frame rate. Yeah, uh, what I think we should try is uh, let's try to improve the FPS by going with the DLSS balanced. Yeah, it's not really improving uh, much to be honest with you. So I think we'll have to turn off ray tracing altogether to have a good experience in this particular area. But just for good measure, let's go to the castle and have a look what the performance is like there. Inside of the castle, using these settings, the performance is, is still not great. I mean, something just feels off, feels a little bit choppy. And this is on DLSS balanced with frame generation enabled. So let's turn off uh, ray tracing and have a look at the performance then. Now I've turned off ray tracing, DLSS on quality, frame generation off. Let's take a look. This is better. This does feel better. And the game still looks good. As I said, you don't really need ray tracing to play this game. And enjoy it a lot. However, if you have a high refresh rate 4K monitor and uh, want to take full advantage of that with this graphics card, you should enable frame generation. And gives us a little bit more FPS and provides a smoother experience. Yeah, at 4K resolution, I would play the game on these exact settings. So ray tracing off, frame generation on, DLSS on quality. No frame generation for now, DLSS quality and uh, ultra preset, no ray tracing for now. But we'll have a look at ray traced performance later and check this out. Even at 4K resolution, still getting above 60 FPS here. Very nice performance indeed. Oh yes, even in Hogsmeade we are getting over 60 FPS. What can I say? Very, very nice. Because this is one of the latest games and a beautiful looking one at that. And still, 4070 Super handles it like a champ. But let's have a look at what happens when we enable ray tracing. Okay, so with ray tracing in Hogsmeade, it's uh, not such a great experience because we're getting... Oh! And that's crash. 
Right, unfortunately the game broke for some reason. I can't show you how the 4070 Super handles 4K with ray tracing in this game because it just crashes every time. I've got no idea why. I've been troubleshooting it for the last two hours and I can't figure it out. So just keep in mind that you might experience some issues with it as well. However, even without ray tracing, this game looks great at 4K on the 4070 Super. So I guess it is nice to have the TI to get that extra performance and extra VRAM for this particular game. But it is not necessary. In PAL world, I want to target 120 FPS. We're at 4K. Epic preset, AA is set to TSR, DLSS disabled. We are getting above 60 FPS, which is a good enough experience in my opinion, uh, but still it could be better because in a very demanding situation where there's like lots of effects, the FPS will certainly drop to 60 or even below that. So let's enable DLSS and uh, have a look at how that will work. And yeah, I think this is the way to go. I mean, I've been playing this game with these settings, DLSS on quality, and uh, I quite enjoy it. The game looks good. I haven't noticed any, like, immersion-breaking uh, artifacts or problems uh, visually, so I'll just keep playing it like that and have a look at that. We are getting well above 60 FPS. Unfortunately, even dropping the settings down to high preset, we cannot achieve 120 FPS at 4K on this graphics card. So you'll have to reduce the visual quality even further if you want the stable 120 FPS at 4K, but uh, I don't think it's worth it. I think uh, this is good enough. DLSS is on quality. Okay, so I've done some running around and I've decided that at 4K using this graphics card I would use these settings to play the game. So, preset high, DLSS balanced, 120 FPS cap, and uh, in most scenarios we are getting close to that 120 cap. And the game looks pretty decent at balanced DLSS. So yeah, this is pretty good. Not perfect, but good enough. Here we are on the 4070 Super in PAL world. 4K resolution, epic preset and TSR is enabled, DLSS disabled. Let's have a look. Hmm, yeah, it's... Uh, it's dropping below 60, so that's not good. Let's try and remedy that. Let's enable DLSS, quality. And there you go. <laughs> that's basically all you have to do. You can still play on Epic preset and uh, Enjoy all the beautiful graphics this world has to offer simply by enabling DLSS quality. So obviously it's not as good as 120 FPS if you're like really after that extremely smooth gaming experience, but still anything above 60 is fine. And if you want, we can reduce the settings to high using DLSS and get a bit more FPS. At 4K resolution I am targeting around 120 FPS, uh, you know, ideally 144, and the preset is set to high, DLSS quality, lumen turned off, let's have a look. Oh. Someone over here already! No, 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 no. You're not welcome. <laughs> uh. Okay, um, yeah, as you can see, the performance is pretty good. The gameplay is nice and smooth.
One more over there. Maybe two players. I'm at a disadvantage in this position. Oh. See there. <laughs> he shouldn't have rushed me. That was a bad idea. Fortnite 4K resolution, and uh, that's gonna be uh, high preset quality with DLSS on quality. Let's go. Yeah, we're already hitting close to 120 FPS, so this is pretty good. I'm very okay with playing the game like this. 4K resolution on a $600 graphics card, sounds good to me. And remember that if you must, you can always lower those settings even further to get even higher FPS at 4K. If you want to play this game at 4K resolution on a 4070 Ti Super, I think it's best to drop the settings down to high preset and use DLSS quality. Frame generation currently is disabled, but we'll enable it just to have a look at how that will feel like. Without frame generation, even in this scenario, in the demanding scenario, we are getting above 60 FPS, which is good enough. And here's a mission scenario. So we still get well above 60 FPS and even above 100 uh, when we go through tunnels and rooms and such so this is the performance you should expect if you are out and about well, let's enable frame generation and have a look at how that will feel yeah it is better it is getting you closer to that 120 fps experience especially inside of buildings. Check it out. But what about towns? And inside of the city, the FPS is still good. But um, yeah, if you don't like frame generation, you don't have to use it if you have a 4070 Ti Super in this game. At 4K resolution, graphics presets set to ultra, DLSS to quality, it is still possible to achieve a very respectable performance level of 60 FPS in the most demanding scenes. And when you're out and about on a mission somewhere, you can expect to have well above 60 FPS on your FPS counter. And just in case if you're interested, how does the game perform with frame generation enabled? Let's enable that. And there you have it. Now you have 100 plus FPS experience. It does feel smoother. So I guess there is an argument for enabling frame generation. I personally don't see a problem with that. Um, I just run this game with it or without it, depending on the mood, <laughs> to be honest with you. But yeah, it still looks good to me. 4K, ultra preset, DLSS quality, frame generation disabled. Inside of the city, 50 FPS. Not bad, not bad. And when you're on a mission, you get 60 plus FPS. So that's perfect. Indeed perfect. Let's blow this up. Oh, nope. No. Yes. Still above 60 fps and let's try frame generation just in case if this is not enough for you you can enable frame gen 
and enjoy even higher frame rates. 100 plus FPS when you're on a mission. Well, dropping down to around 90 in the more uh, demanding scenario on a mission, like this one here. Very open area, lots of uh, details, lots of items, textures. And in a more demanding scenario, you'll get over 60 FPS. So I think this is pretty good, considering that we're playing at 4K resolution on the 4070 Super. Of course, it is nice to have that extra performance of the 4070 Ti Super, but I'll be honest with you, I would play this game on a 4070 Super and not miss anything, because it still feels good, it still feels smooth. As long as it's above 60 FPS, I'm fine and like in the... In this highly demanding scenario, it is over 60 FPS. Well, if we disable frame gen, then it's going to be like 50. But still, you don't need a lot of FPS inside of the inside of any city because it's a safe zone. Uh, what matters is when you're on a mission, when you're out and about, and there you will get well above 60 FPS, and that's enough to enjoy the game. We are on DLSS Ultra Quality, which means DLAA, and everything else is on the same preset, so that's Ultra Preset. And the performance, <laughs> well, it's not as good as it was at 1440p. And I certainly would not want to play this game like this. Check this out, 40 plus FPS, unacceptable. But, let's turn on DLSS, let's set it to quality, and it's better, but not perfect. It's not the perfect experience one would want. Let's try setting DLSS to balanced. On balanced, still, we can't get a consistent 60 plus FPS in this particular scenario. Yeah, it's not that great. Keep in mind that this is a pretty demanding game. It's a shame that it doesn't have NVIDIA DLSS 3 with frame generation. Let's bring DLSS back to ultra quality and use high preset instead of ultra. Of course, turn off motion blur and depth of field. Hmm. And like this, the performance is better, but still it leaves just that little bit to be desired. So I would like the FPS to be just like five FPS higher than this, just to keep it above 60 at all times. Let's try to achieve it with DLSS. Set it back to quality. And there you have it. So basically, this is the way to go for this particular game on the 4070 Ti Super. You definitely want DLSS quality and graphics presets set to high instead of ultra. It is a very demanding game after all. Just have a look at all these details. So much vegetation. This game is beautiful. <laughs> One of the best looking games I've seen. And honestly with DLSS quality the game doesn't look too bad. Indoors DLSS quality looks okay. Let's see if we can spot any problems with it. Yeah, I really want to see someone walking. It's a shame that uh, none of these characters are walking or just staying in place. But I can't spot any big problems uh, with DLSS quality at 4K resolution. 
because it has uh, a lot more pixels to work with, so a lot more information to upscale from. Yeah, I would definitely play on DLSS quality using the 4070 Ti Super at 4K resolution. I've switched to the 4070 Super and let's use the same settings at 4K that we found to work best with the 4070 Ti Super and those are high preset and then DLSS set to quality and will it be as enjoyable? Hmm. Let's grab some of those. Oh, pouch is full. Yeah, let's have a look in the same location. Like over here, it's fine. 70 plus. And over here, uh, 55. But this is like very demanding scene over here. It's not as fluid as on the 4070 Ti Super, but it's still a good experience. And just to be clear, it's not gonna be always like this. Sometimes you'll have different scenarios with like diff in a different location and the FPS will be much higher. So let's go inside and in a scenario like this, the experience is absolutely fine. The game looks good. The performance is good. I have no problems playing the game like this on a 4070 Super. I think the experience is, well, it's not as good as a 4070 Ti because that was just like really superb, but it's still fine. The only thing is that you don't really have much wiggle room in terms of uh, lowering graphics even further. You would have to really sacrifice some of these beautiful, beautiful settings because Let's face it, this game is all about beautiful textures, enjoying the beautiful world of Pandora in all of its glory like this. Yeah, it doesn't look as nice when it's raining, but when the sun comes out, it looks gorgeous. I am enjoying this game on the 4070 Super. I think that the 4070 Ti Super is not necessary, but it's nice to have for sure. In conclusion, at 4K resolution, I definitely prefer the 4070 Ti Super. I had to make compromises way too often with the 4070 Super and couldn't get the experience I wanted in some of the more demanding games. With the 4070 Super at this resolution, we rely on DLSS and frame generation to get a pleasant experience in the latest graphically demanding games. It means that if the game you want to play doesn't have these NVIDIA FPS boosting features or they've been implemented poorly, resulting in a bad visual quality, then you are screwed. Furthermore, future games will get more demanding, which means that in a couple of years the 4070 Super might not be able to keep up even with the help of DLSS and frame generation. That is why I'd pick the 4070 Ti Super to play games at 4K resolution. Links to buy the graphics cards featured in this video are in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, then reward my work with a like and subscribe for more if you haven't already. It was I, Vadim. Until next time.